All right. Today we're going to demonstrate the Creative Composites Group Animal Guard. It's made out of FRP, or fiberglass reinforced polymer, which is quite a bit different than a thermal plastic. These are made out of thermal set, fiber reinforced. We wouldn't want to use a thermal plastic because the animal guard would be compromised because beavers like to chew through thermal plastics. So the composites will actually keep the beavers from uh, chewing through the pole. So it's made out of, again, fiberglass reinforced polymer, which is fiberglass reinforcement. The polymer in this case is a polyester type resin. And then there's catalyst and other type of fillers in there. And then we provide a layer of UV protection with uh, UV additives and then a layer of uh, high quality paint. So it'll last many, many years in the sunlight. Again, the main goal of this is to protect the wood pole and provide additional service life of the wood pole and keep uh, animals from attacking the wood pole such as beaver and elk. So basically it's gonna take two people one person could probably struggle with it a little bit, but it's easier if you take two people. The first thing we would do is we would dig around the pole and we want to position the sleeve about six inches to a foot under the ground. So what we do then is uh, we simply just spread it apart, snap it around the pole, position it the way we like it. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna simply use some ratchet straps to make it hug the pole. And after that, we're going to install some screws that'll make it a permanent fixture that can be taken apart to inspect the pole later on if you need to do that. So Trent, let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate how to use the ratchet straps. These are just basic ratchet straps that you could buy from Lowe's or any other place. And we're uh, simply going to put a ratchet strap approximately a foot, foot and a half from, from the top. Trent's going to tighten that up, and you'll notice how it's sucking the uh, sleeve in around the pole. We want to just make a few little adjustments. Go ahead. And then what we're going to do is the same thing to the bottom. Okay, Trent. Again, the idea is just to snug it around the pole. You want to make it pretty tight so it fits about like a glove around that pole. And when it's properly fit, there shouldn't be any gaps in there. So I'm filling it to make sure there's no gaps. And we want to look at the, uh, the fit right here as well. This is the seam. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and measure it, put a few marks on it so we know where to properly install the screws. Trent, why don't you... Go ahead and mark that. So what Trent's gonna do is he's gonna measure over one inch from the edge and one inch from the top, and that's where we're gonna start the first screw. After that, he's gonna measure six inches and one inch from the edge. So basically it's six inches on center, one inch over from the edge. And then we're gonna install some uh, Sabre drive self-drilling screws. They work very well. There's no reason to pre-drill the fiberglass. Um, basically what we're gonna do is put it right here where Trent marked it. And we wanna just snug that up. And then we're gonna measure down. Index down to the six inch location. do the same thing. So we're snugging that up to protect this pole from beaver damage and from elk damage. The elk horns, the elks have a tendency certain time of year to really rub the poles and uh, they cause a lot of damage. So this will protect the pole from antler damage as well as beaver damage. 